communication you communicate to me that tomorrow you may have to travel for your two days for your business activity that is absolutely fine however if you miss many classes in a row if you miss many classes in a row and actually if you miss six seven classes when you resume it is definitely going to be very difficult for you to understand things okay so uh, i think i cover all the important aspects of the training program the training session would be uh, shared across with you this is called session plan what is going to be taught every day would be mentioned over there any changes into the session plan would be communicated again so that's all about the training program uh, now i'm going to talk about the technology aspects of uh, obi so obi is originally from a company called sebel and after oracle acquired sebel they revamp some of the component from obi and integrate obi with all the oracle products and this become obi obi is basically oracle business intelligence enterprise edition as the name itself indicates it's a enterprise solution and the beauty of obi is that as per the oracle roadmap this is going to be one common reporting solution across all high peer products so we'll discuss about what obi is an introduction a brief history about it and an architecture and my focus here is always to compare obi with other reporting tool whatever i know what are the striking feature of it and eventually where does obi solution fit into picture in complete data warehousing environment so it's a reporting tool what does traditional reporting tool do is a reporting bi reporting tool business intelligence reporting tool so your traditional reporting tools are designed to connect to your data source fetch the data and present to the user obi does the same thing fetch the data from data source this various data source and organize the data in a way that could be present to the business user obi does the same thing it's a query tool when i say query I'm a business user. I do not know SQL query, right? So in order to get the business data, it is not mandatory for me. It should not be mandatory for me to learn SQL query. I should be able to fetch the data. So we want to facilitate user in a way that without falling into complex technical uh, needs, we should be able to provide the information to the user. So it's a query tool which allow you to connect to database. and fetch the data as it is a business intelligence tool a traditional reporting tool just allow you to fetch the data it doesn't have any capability of analysis and analysis is very broad term so uh, bi analysis means providing some means so that we are allowing you to look at the various pattern of data various means of analyzing the data so obi gives built in analytical features by using the business by using that features your user can understand how data is generally moving you know what is the trends of data a simple form of analysis could be if you look at these reports we are presenting data in terms of charts and various charts so by looking at the um, you know company performance trend in terms of charts it is easy for the user to understand how company is growing this simple way of data presentation analysis maybe i would like to go detail about quarter 1 i am looking the quarterly sales report i would like to know every month sales report every month sales report for each customer for each product for each distribution channel so i can be able to trace data from any point to any point and look into any granularity of data from various aspects this is what the analysis mean however we'll discuss about the the actual meaning of analysis could be in business intelligence term could be drill down developing analyzing 
and various other pattern, pattern based analysis. For now, analysis means a simple method or means allow user to look into the various aspects of the business. Then Oracle has its own BI tool called Discoverer. It's not true BI tool, it's like a reporting tool. What was the need of Oracle to acquire OBA? OBA comes with some rich functionality. When I say rich functionality, there are many, many. Uh, I can highlight some of them which are very common over here called um, rich functionality like data federation, data federation, uh, data federation means your data is stored in a disparate location and without using ETL tool, you can, your reporting tool is capable enough to connect to various sources. Your Discover doesn't offer this. To connect to various sources without the need of 